The more I work with this program, the more impressed I am with how quick it makes everything I'm doing with clients. Because when I'm drawing digitally, it's great that I can make any changes that I want virtually instantaneously, and it all shows up on the timeline and for any kind of export that I want. But when I'm working with clients, I'm often delivering in numerous ways. Some clients want every individual panel given to them because they want to do their own layout. Sometimes they're going to want a PDF, which is one file, which is really great because it allows them to very quickly print the entire sequence of boards with all the numbering and all the text next to it. Sometimes they want to see a movie, sometimes they want to see all the above. Super fast. Let me show you quickly a couple ways that you can export here. So for PDF, because so many clients always want something printed or to be able to be printed, I just go to export PDF and you've got a number of presets you can make under new profile make your own. For animation, horizontal is normally the way that we do it. So you want to set your destination path. Make sure you do this every time because the default is the last one you exported, not the pro not the file that you're in now. So in this case, I'll just keep it there. Three panel horizontal, and now I can edit it. You're going to want to edit this the first time you use it to make sure that everything comes out the way you want. The name, this is the default that I would generally keep these the way you're going to want it. Under page, I actually don't change anything on page either, but this allows you to change how each page comes out. Now under storyboard, this is where I start making some changes. On the cover, I have a cover that I've designed that has my logo and my name on it. So I use that as my background image. I definitely want to show the title and the subtitle. Sometimes I show the duration, sometimes I, I don't. It just depends on if it's necessary for this. I do like showing the date because it'll show when I actually last edited the thing under panels. So this allows you to, for each individual panel, dictate. Now framing means to put a box around something. I always turn everything that says frame panel off. Um, you'll also notice over here frame panel header, frame panel image. I turn off all framing on it. Image zoom level. What this means is if this is set to a hundred It'll show every bit of the drawing that is exactly within the box. However, I like to draw outside the box. It helps make everything more clear. And I want part of that to be shown. So I always set the image zoom level at 85. It makes it really great. Under captions, again, for anything framing. I don't put any framing on there. So this is the font size and height and how everything shows up. I generally keep it pretty much the way they have it. Header. If you've got a logo that you want up on top, you would put your own logo there. Default is Toon Boom has one. So you can also just get rid of it so nothing shows up. You can tell what shows up on the header on the top of every page. I definitely like showing the page number. You will too. Definitely do that. Footer, I have a, a logo that has my contact information down on the footer. And then for labeling, for scene number and panel number, the default is it just looks like this. Now, if you're using shots instead of scenes, you can just rename this shot. And that's what we'll print when it comes out. The percentage number one, that means that the shot number shows up right next to it rather than on the line below it. I don't like it below it. The, the spacing doesn't look right. But this is a great little shortcut, so make sure you set up like this. Shot, space, percentage one, panel space, percentage one. That'll work out great for you. Once you're done and you like everything, you can select OK. And I can go here and I can select now, if I want to export the PDF, selected scenes, and I can select as many as I want, or all of them, or the current one I'm on, or just the current panel. In this case, I want to select, well, let's just select so it goes quickly, the first five scenes, OK. And I want the document to open so I can look at it right away. Export. Yes, I'll overwrite what I've done before. That's also good protection for you. My storyboard shows up. And I can flip through it. Here's the cover. Here are the panels. Any dialogue that's in there. Action notes you can see are highlighted down here. Remember this? This is when I was showing you the 
uh, the sketch notes show up underneath it. Scene number, we had it set for it would show the duration of the scene and duration of the panel. You can have that turned off so it doesn't show up at all. I often do if I'm exporting this out to my animator so they can know at a glance how long everything is. Yep, that looks great to me. If I don't want the duration, I'll just go back to Edit Profile, under Panels, and see here we've got Selected Scene Duration and Panel Duration. Turn those off, and it won't show up on my next export. I can also export bitmaps, and I can export those as JPEGs, Targets, or Photoshop. File pattern is, I can call it Sketch 1, Sketch 2, and it'll automatically update. Again, I can do selected scenes or panels, um, current, all of the above. Again, the same zoom level issue that we ran into before. And here you can set quarter, half, or full size. Just depends on how uh, the quality of the artwork that you want to show up for print. And then you can export as many of those as you want. Make sure, again, that you set the destination path every time. Now, bitmap, if we were exporting, as I was showing you, to a JPEG, it would be a flattened image. However, if I'm exporting to a bitmap, and I want to export to Photoshop, it will actually export in layers for me as well. So it'll keep the separation in layers that I have here which is also very helpful if I want to add blurs on certain layers and import something back in. I can also export a movie. I can export QuickTime, Flash, uh, JPEG sequence or target sequence. Movie is usually the one I want under Movie Options. I can change any number of settings here, such as my compression type. MPEG-4 is the smallest that retains really great quality. Set my keyframes however I want. Compression quality, I want very high. And I can export again. Selected scenes, all of the above, whatever I need to. One thing that's also really cool, I can export straight to Toon Boom. If I'm using the Toon Boom animation software, this storyboard will export and set up my animation file completely with the storyboard there for you to work over. Or I can also do an EDL list. And we can have this set up where it will go uh, to, uh, whether it's Premiere or Final Cut or Avid, or a general XML file, dictate what kind it is, and the how big you want the file size to be. And now your editor can take all the information here, and it can be completely editable for them. Incredibly helpful, and you can even import that information back from them after they've worked on it.